But now we're going to turn now to our GMA cover story. It's about how social media can be hurting teens. Our friend and parenting expert, Rachel Simmons, is here. Rachel, this study, and thanks very much. Robin. And Georgia, now to GMA Investigates, a new warning with peak moving season about to begin. There were more than, though. Good to have you here in the studio with us, Kenneth. Good to be here. Good morning, Robin. Moving can be such a pain, yet 40 million Americans do it every year. Experts tell us if you go with a moving company, you've got to do your research. That's because the mover you think you're hiring. Morning, Janae. Good morning. We have all heard of dry January, and either no people or we ourselves have taken part in taking a break from booze. But often after that time... All right, Janae. Thank you for that. We're joined now by ABC's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, to answer all our questions about the benefits of going sober yep. um, like this. And, and, Doc, we were talking about this. You asked if I've ever done it. I said not, not on purpose, but I heard them say better sleep, which sounds like yeah. something that's good for Hey, Michael, I got pictures right on the front lines of the Crittenberg Complex fire. This thing's down more than 33,000 acres. They've got it 55% contained. The images we're seeing here from Fort Hood, Texas. But I want to take you through the really extreme fire danger because of this front path. They're here to talk about their new children's book, and it's called There's a Rock Concert in My Bedroom. <laughs> Very appropriate. <laughs> Very appropriate. <laughs> well, before we get to the book, and we can't wait to talk to you about that, the Oscars with yes. Reba, how was it? It was incredible. I was there filming a show for ABC uh, called Claim to Fame, and I got a phone call saying, hey, would you like to play a guitar for Reba McIntyre tonight? And I was like, yeah, I guess I can say it next day. <laughs> so uh, that was a dream come true. Dissociative identity disorder? Yes, that's that right. <laughs> <laughs> it's right forward, right? Uh, yes, it's, a, it's called Moon Knight. Basically, it's the story. You find this guy named Stephen. Feel the cold penetrating the windows. You feel that, right, Eddie? Uh, I have to show you this video. The GMA, and this morning we are exploring a cuisine that has really taken off in popularity recently in the United States. Korean food. We can't wait to try these dishes. You can't smell them, I can. But first, Eva and that young man you saw in that picture, he's right here now, Eric Kim. And he's going to show us, yes, he's going to show us some Korean-American dishes. And you can get these recipes by scanning the QR code on the screen. So, Eric, a big welcome to GMA as you say. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, Eric. Thank you for cooking for us. And all of you at home can download the ABC News app to our GMA. All of our reporting at ABC News all day long. Have a good one.